I was about to grab that, but it's highly poisonous. During the wet season, small streams like this one appear around the forest. For expert hunter-gatherers, it's an opportunity not to be missed. What they've done is they've turned the stream into a series of dammed ponds. And once the pond has filled up, they empty it quickly. And I'm assuming the fish are going to be left behind. Goodness knows what kind of fish live in here, because they're going to be very small. The ancient technique of dam fishing has been used by forest people across this region for millennia. Oh, you've got a fish? It's a fish. I see. A little catfish. Here we go. This is what they're after. So these live in the mud. So we're just going through all the silt. Oh, he's got one here, I think, maybe. You got one. Oh, this is a different one. That, to me, looks like a little perch. In tough times, Benjele can spend months roaming the forest in search of food, covering 50 miles a day. And it's women like Rosalie who work hardest to put food on the table. Rosalie is fishing a woman's job here. Passing down this knowledge of the forest is critical to the Benjele. They know all too well the difference between what's edible and what's deadly. Yeah, just here? No? No. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, I see. It's a snake, I think. Poisonous. I was about to grab that, but it's highly poisonous. But you'll notice they haven't killed it. So I think uh, this is representative of the respect for everything around. They're just taking what they need, these tiny little fish. We're so used to abundance in many parts of the world, having huge quantities and keeping it for long periods of time. But here, you use everything, but you also value and respect everything. With our hard-earned catch, it's time to head home. <laughs>